In this short video, we're going to look at the process to determine viability ratings for banks. The process to assign a VR can be broken down into three main steps. First, we determine a score for a bank's operating environment. Then, we derive scores for six other rating drivers. Finally, we combine the six scores to derive the VR. The operating environment captures Fitch's assessment of the ability of banks in a given jurisdiction to generate business while taking on acceptable levels of risk. To determine this score, we derive an implied category score using the matrix shown on this slide. The matrix incorporates two core metrics, GDP per capita, and a ranking using Fitch Solutions Operational Risk Index, which captures the challenges of operating a business in a given jurisdiction. As a next sub-step, Fitch considers whether to adjust the implied score in arriving at the final, notch-specific assigned score. The second main step in assigning a bank's VR is to determine the scores for six other rating drivers. First, Fitch derives implied scores using two-factor matrices for most rating drivers. The operating environment score is one of the two factors. The other factor in each matrix is a core metric most closely related to our assessment of the given driver, for example, the impaired loans ratio for asset quality. We use four-year averages except for capitalization and leverage, which uses the latest available data point. This slide shows the matrix used to derive the implied score for asset quality. The way to read this is as follows. Suppose a bank's assigned operating environment score is A-, that is to say, it is in the A category. This puts us in the second row of the matrix. Then, suppose the four-year average for the impaired loans, gross loans ratio, is 7%, i.e., below 12%, but more than 5%. This puts it in the second cell from the right in that row and gives us an implied asset quality KRD score of double B category, as indicated by the heading at the top of that column. As a next step, Fitch considers whether the implied scores should be adjusted. This slide shows the possible adjustment factors for asset quality. The third and final main step is to determine the implied VR by combining the six scores using the weightings shown on this slide. Fitch then considers whether the implied VR should be adjusted to arrive at the final VR. There are three possible reasons. Fitch can assign a VR lower than the implied, where we think the implied is too high relative to the operating environment score or the sovereign rating. The implied VR can also be adjusted if Fitch believes business profile or risk profile should have a stronger impact on the VR than the weighting would suggest. Finally, the assigned VR can be lower than implied when one or more financial factors represent a bank's weakest link, dragging down the VR based on its strong impact on our overall assessment.